Today's Easter Bunny accidentally became a familiar voice for one of popular culture's most beloved franchises. Born in 1918 in Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico, Jose Cuauhtémoc Melendez was educated in the public schools of Douglas, Arizona, an old smelting town that is also home to one of the major border crossings between America and Mexico. Jose would later adopt the name Bill Melendez and attended the Chenard Art Institute, moving on to become an animator for Disney and working on Pinocchio and Fantasia. Melendez was one of the 200 animators to participate in the infamous Screen Cartoonist Guild strikes against Disney. And in the aftermath, he left for Warner Brothers cartoons in the mass migration that also saw Preston Blair heading to MGM, Frank Tashlin moving to Screen Gems, and Walt Kelly moving to Dell Comics where he would create the legendary Pogo. Melendez worked on Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies under Bob Clampett and Arthur Davis, and briefly worked under Robert McKimson before leaving for United Productions Alliance, where he worked on the Gerald McBoing Boing shorts and television series. Melendez also worked as an animator for advertising, which is when he met Charles Schultz. He worked with Schultz on an advertising campaign for Ford Motors, and in the process became the only person Charles Schultz trusted to animate his beloved characters. When Lee Mendelssohn approached Schultz with an idea for a Christmas special, Schultz recommended he hire Melendez, and the two would go on to co-produce 70 Peanuts specials, as well as four movies and hundreds of commercials featuring the characters. The Easter Beagle is coming! Thank you, Easter Beagle! Thank you! Thank you very, very much! Originally airing in 1974, it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown was the 12th Charlie Brown special for prime time. The show weaves several separate storylines together, including one in which Snoopy attempts to find a birdhouse for Woodstock. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy specials are not huge on continuity, but the Easter Beagle is an exception, referencing It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown several times and, I guess, making this a direct sequel? The special culminates with Snoopy visiting the children on Easter morning as the Easter Beagle and distributing eggs and, you know what, that's close enough for me that I'm going to call this an Easter Bunny for the screen. It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown became a fixture of the Easter season. So much so that after a one-year absence from the air in 2007, when ABC programmed it as filler opposite American Idol, it still managed to pull 6.32 million viewers. Its last broadcast airing was in 2014. The exclusive broadcast rights to the special are now held by Apple TV+, and it was not included in the specials that the streaming service is required to make free during a window around its holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> B. 
Bill Melendez may have been the voice of Snoopy and Woodstock for decades, but he never really pursued a voice acting career. When Schultz told Melendez that he would rather not have Snoopy speak during the television specials, Melendez recorded the first set of Snoopy and Woodstock sounds on a tape recorder as a placeholder sound. The sounds were sped up and added to the soundtrack, and then were left in the finished product. Melendez had stumbled into an iconic animation voice performance role. He continued to provide new recordings for almost all productions except for those where Snoopy did speak, primarily the ones adapting the Peanuts Broadway shows, and his sound is so iconic that recordings of his original performances were used posthumously for Snoopy and Woodstock's voices in 2015's The Peanuts Movie. Even so, Melendez was first and foremost an animator and a director. But the Mexican-born artist did contribute as a writer to four episodes of This Is America, Charlie Brown, a long-form miniseries in which the Peanuts gang examined and celebrated the social and cultural history of the United States. Bill Melendez had a fond working relationship with Charles Schultz, and it's always clear how much Melendez and Mendelssohn cherished working on the franchise. Melendez was nominated for 27 awards and had 14 wins in his career, although only three of his wins were for Charlie Brown. He won Primetime Emmy Awards in 1966 for A Charlie Brown Christmas, 1976 for You're a Good Sport, Charlie Brown, and in 1981 for Life is a Circus, Charlie Brown. His other major wins were for adaptations of different works, including One Garfield Special, a special based on the Kathy comic strips, and an animated adaptation of Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll stick around for more discussion of popular culture. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Easter Beagle, so drop into the comments and let me know. And while you're there, make sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell to be notified when there's a new video available. Until next time, watch like it means something.